This is day one of something new. Last night, God positioned me into a new season. He gave me strategy and content ideas and told me for 30 days, just keep moving and decreeing the abundant life I have for you. This is exciting, but it is also a walk of faith for me. The wisdom and understanding I'm getting, I sometimes wonder who it is for, how it will impact someone's life. I'm curious to know what all God is mentally and physically positioning me for. We never know all the details as believers. We just keep going, trusting God, knowing it is all in his hands. Be still and wait patiently on the Lord. Keep praying and keep pulling on the heavens. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, here on earth as it is in heaven. God is ready to pour out on you, so be prepared and be focused. been wanting to teach me some new things spiritual things i've really been hesitant to learn these things because they are a lot different than what people are teaching and when god teaches me new things he always backs it up with his word but he gives me wisdom the holy spirit speaks wisdom to me and then i'll go on his word and i'll see something and i'll read about something and it's it's just profound wisdom that a lot of the times people don't even teach or they don't read. And so he's just teaching me new things and I'm learning. And I didn't want to fully step into this all the way because I was on my own time. But um, I surrendered this last night and I said, guys, if this is you, you know, you have to give me a sign and give me a dream or something to let me know. And he spoke this audibly to me. It is uh, Matthew 11. 28 and it says come to me all you who are weary and carry heavy burdens and i will give you rest take my yoke upon you let me teach you because i am humble and gentle at heart and you will find rest for your souls for my yoke is easy to bear and the burden i give you is light and i kept hearing come to me all you who are weary come to me all you who are weary and i didn't understand it and the dream i had was just amazing like <laughs> how is this not God? <laughs> and so I I immediately I woke up about four in the morning and I was like, all right, let me look this up. And I looked it up and then followed, it came some more scriptures. And so one thing God has really been speaking to me about is the wisdom of this world and the way people think. And the way he has been trying to speak to me about this is I'll see people speak on social media and I'll immediately have discernment and, you know, God will give me discernment on what they're saying. I'll react in a way to, it's almost cringy hearing it. And I'll know, you know, God feels some type of way about it. And I'm usually asking God, God, why do you feel this way? Or why, why does this stand out to me? And one of the things he's been trying to let me know is that a lot of people don't have wisdom and that they're speaking on their own knowledge and they're speaking what they want to hear and what they think their audience wants to hear. God gave me a few scriptures to start with and to start building upon as I start this 30 days of just being with God and getting wisdom. First Corinthians 1 Corinthians 1.19 says, I will destroy the wisdom of the wise, the intelligence of the intelligent. I will frustrate. We have wisdom in this world. There, there's wisdom in this world. There were philosophers who had good wisdom. There were many teachers. There's a lot of wise people. They have profound messages and it just it sounds good to the ear. It sounds good to the heart. It makes you feel good. It makes you think, you know, there's a lot of things you've never heard before. And a lot of it can be from God. And then a lot of it is just human wisdom. And if we cling to the wisdom of this world, God is saying, I will destroy it. I will show you that your wisdom is not wisdom at all. It's not intelligent and he will frustrate it. He will discard it and he will show you that what you believe in is not true. And God is saying in 1 Corinthians 3, 18, stop deceiving yourselves. If you think you are wise by the world's standards, you need to become a fool to truly be wise. For the wisdom of this world is foolishness to God. 
As the scriptures say, he traps the wise in the snare of their own cleverness. And again, the Lord knows the thoughts of the wise. He knows they are worthless. If God gives you wisdom in his word, God is only giving you a portion of the wisdom. The, for us to be able to fully understand God's word, it would take so long. We would, you know, be stuck trying to learn his word. It, it's just, it's so much. It's just so much. It's in depth. And that's why as we go from generation to generation, we're getting more wisdom in God's word. We're getting new words of wisdom. We're getting breakthrough words. We're finding secrets and we're unlocking the mysteries of the world continually because we continue to grow. And in order to fully understand God's word, you have to read it with the Holy Spirit. And so people think that they can read the word of God and come up with something that makes sense in this world. And we have to understand that a lot of things that are being spoken in this word, especially in the New Testament, is spiritual. Because there's a natural side to things and there's a spiritual side to things. And if you've ever been and seen the spiritual, <laughs> if God has revealed that to you, it's not like this natural earthly thing where we have restrictions and the spiritual so much is possible. Things look a different way. Things act a different way. They are perceived differently. Things are activated by the sound of our voice. We have so much authority, if you know it, in the spiritual. God sees things differently. God, God is spirit, so he sees things in a spiritual way. His ways are above our ways, thoughts above our thoughts. I know that this is only a portion to what God has for me. I know that this is not everything. And so I want to know more. My heart desires to know more because as I flip through the pages, it's it becomes things become alive to me. And I, I just sit here and I have to sometimes cut myself off like, OK, <laughs> I think what we have to understand is you don't fully know God's word and you don't fully know God. God teaches you who God is. His spirit is there to teach you, to lead you, to guide you. God gives you wisdom. You don't get wisdom from this world. You don't open up a textbook. You don't watch a video. You get wisdom from God. Even if someone speaks wisdom to you, you need the Holy Spirit to discern if that is wisdom from God or from another spirit. You need God to read the word. You need him in all things. God leads you and he guides you. His spirit puts his laws on your heart so that you know what to do. You know how to live. And as Christians, we have to understand and we have to know that our walk is going to be different. The way we look, the way we talk will be different. And even the wisdom God gives us, God may give you wisdom in one area and someone else wisdom in another area. And together you figure out even more wisdom, in-depth wisdom. And I just think that that's the amazing thing about God is he doesn't give it all to one person. Because if he gave it all to one person, that one person would literally think that they are God and people would look to that and idolize that person. But God says that if you want wisdom, it is for you. Ask and it shall be given unto you. And so God is saying that the wisdom he has is not just for one person, it's for all of us. The Spirit of God is for all of us. Our lives are different, but we all serve the same God. Many people don't like to read the Word of God. They don't like to read the Bible. They look for other people to get their word. And I think we're coming into a time, if you have not already noticed, you will need to be in relationship with God's Spirit. and You will need to know His Word for your own self, for your own life so that you were not feeding off the words of human wisdom that is put out on social media, that is put out into the atmosphere, so that you know what to believe, so that you know what to come in agreement with, because God has a certain design and a certain way for your life to go, and you must come into agreement with what God says about your life, not what someone else says. I'm a firm believer that you should study and read the word for yourself and then go to church <laughs> and then get fed by church or take what the church gives you and go home and study it. But don't just allow someone to teach you something because you have to know your own season. Thank you for listening. This is day one <laughs> of 30. And so I'm relying on God to get me through the next 29 days. 
and I'm relying on God to give me words of wisdom and to just speak to me through his word. I'm not going to share everything God tells me because a lot of things are for me to know and he tells me what I need to put out. But I just, I'm so in awe of God and thank you for watching and I hope that you continue to watch as I just dive into God's word and as I just share what God gives me. 